welcome to my channel I hope you're all well so today I thought I'd just show you a few of my favorite go to bits from Christmas I know Christmas is long gone now when we're looking into spring but I just thought I'd like to show you some of my favorites um, which I used a lot of over Christmas so the first things I want to show you are these bad boys yeah I know I ate five boxes of these over Christmas they are the essence of Christmas to me. You cannot have Christmas without matchmakers. The orange ones are my favourite, the zingy orange ones, and I think they do them in a caramel. So yeah, five boxes. So these to me have to be a definite for Christmas. So another go-to that I use a lot over Christmas is this, um, the Ambi Pure Mulled Wine Air Freshener. It just, your house just smells of Christmas. Another go-to that I used a lot over Christmas was the um, Sparkling Shimmer Yankee Candle. Lovely, fresh, clean sort of smell. Your house smells really lovely without it being overpowering. But it's got that warm smell to it as well. So yeah, I used that a lot. That was one of my favourites. Also, the um, Magical Moments Yankee Candle as well. That, that smells a bit more outdoorsy. Like it's not got pine in it, I don't think, but it smells like you could be outside walking in woodland. Really nice is that. That's just my opinion. What it smells like, anyway. Somebody else might smell it and think it doesn't smell anything like that. But um, yeah, they were the two favourites that I used over Christmas. Another item that I want to show you is this. It's from the White Company. It's the Seychelles Bath and Body Lotion. Um, it's it's absolutely beautiful. It's uh, my sister gets me it. She's actually got me actually for the last three years. It's um, it's bergamot, amber, and vanilla, and um, it's so so gorgeous. Um, two bottles like that. Um, the, the body lotion literally lasts me for six months because I use it a lot. But it's beautiful. Like you don't even need to wear any perfume when you go out because it's oh, it's just lovely. It's it's lovely in winter. It's lovely in summer. Just got that really. Of, yeah, I can smell the amber and the vanilla in it. It's, mm, it's lovely. There, so that I never take it out of its box. I leave it in its box because I think it looks nice in that in that in that box. So yeah, got to love this one. It's a new handbag. It's a dune. It's racy red, and um, I absolutely love it. It's just uh, nice for going out there, nice to go into town, nice to go out if you want to go out for a meal on a night. It's got a, um, just two compartments in it. It's not massive, a little pocket. It's got a, a, a strap for your shoulders if you wanted it as a, to wear it as a shoulder bag. Um, but I actually like it as it is. So yeah, that was another gift that I got, which yeah, absolutely love that. Gorgeous. Also got a new hair dryer because mine blew up before Christmas, so I've used that most days over Christmas. So that's another thing that I've used a lot of. I've just been out to Humbargan so I'm back now I nipped into Morrison's over the road as well while I was up there so this is what I've bought um, I've got a pack of these surf 18 in a wash um, they are the summer flower are they wildflowers um, they were $1.99 for, for, for 18 washes so they were really good pack of the bigger tomatoes on the barn I'm really into the big tomatoes now I'm a bit fed up with cherry ones they're nice for for um, you know roasting if you put doing some roasted vegetables chuck, chuck a few of them chopped up in the really nice um these two little love heart bowls that were really sweet they were on the um 
on the Valentine's section actually, which I've vlogged some of that because there's some lovely things on there. They were 129 each. You can't go wrong, can you? I mean, 129. Um, the, there's some really affordable things in there. I mean, even if you just want little extras just to bulk up a gift. Um, yeah, they're do, doing really well home baggers with that sort of stuff. Um, some cheesy croquettes. Um, thought I'd give them a go. Potato, cheese and onion. Um, I think they were one pound. Forty. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think there were. Um, these nappy sacks. We haven't got a baby, but we use them when we're taking Flossie on her walks. Um, that we find a bit more economical than actually poo dog dog poo bags, and they um they smell nicer as well. So, um, two Vimto cans, twenty nine p each. A Dr Pepper. Say, I've got two Pina Colada cocktail mixes. My middle daughter likes those um some simple shampoo simple conditioner 99p each because a member of my family has really sensitive scalp so can't use anything with um you know a lot of um, perfumey stuff in it um two packs of tea tree facial wipes which were 79p for two so that's good um your cotton wool pads which were 59p i thought i'd give this a go um, because I've seen it advertised and I don't know what it's like, charcoal toothpaste, I mean, I don't know, <laughs> I've, I even like brushing your teeth with a load of coal, I've no idea, but um, you got a toothbrush with it anyway, end of day, it was 99p, if I don't like it, I'm, I won't use it anymore, but yeah, got that. Uh, got a pack of Dove baby wipes, um, they're all handy to have in the bathroom, I got um, a pack of these tea lights, which um, I really like these ones because they're the bigger ones, so they've got a longer burning burning life than the, the, the smaller ones. They're 149. They I'm not sure eight hours. Surely they don't burn for eight hours, one of them. I'm sure uh I don't know. Anyway, but they've got a longer burning life than um than than your smaller ones. So yeah, 149 for 25 of them. Then nipped into Morrison's, um, obviously got to see what I've got, I've got two packs of milk, a pack of um, the mixed variety of Walker's crisps, a pack of strawberries, a pack of um, cherries, two for three pound, some new potatoes, a cucumber, a pack of these light Greek style yoghurts, um, my middle daughter likes these because um, one thing they're low in fat and she's always seems to be on a diet and the the other thing is there's no lumps in them so she doesn't like really yogurts with bits of fruit in so she likes those pots of joy for harry they're like the chocolate moussey things he likes them some bananas don't know if i've done the cucumber i've got a cucumber and i've got a lemon which um, i'm going to show you what i'm going to do with this um nothing dodgy don't worry it's um something that i'm going to show you what i do um purely because i can't really get out in the garden today because it's not very nice um so i won't be filming any of that today um so i'm going to show you what i can do with this lemon um as part of my little gardening vlog thing today so yeah so um i'll show you what i'm going to do with that next and um that's what i got for under 30 pound and i'd say i've done a okay yeah wouldn't you so this is what you will need to make these i'm so sorry if the lighting's rubbish but um, i don't have any fancy equipment i don't have a fancy camera or a lighting ring or anything i'm just doing all this on my phone really so um yeah, that's why it's all a bit out of focus and so it's a little bit dark sometimes. But anyway, let's proceed. It's a bit like blue blueprint to this. So you just obviously cut your lemon in half like that. You need to get out the, the pips. So we've got that. So then what you want to do is um, just try and block them off a little bit. Get some of the moisture off them because they're really slimy. The tips are quite wet is that. So then you just get a bit of cling film or plastic bag, anything like that, it doesn't matter. As long as it's um it's pla you know it's 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 thin material. Pop that in there in the bag. 
Well, in 10 days, when you go back and have a look at them, it should have some like little roots, um, little sprouts coming out of the pips. Um, you want to pot them on onto proper in proper um, seedling compost because it's finer stuff than your everyday compost. Um, just put them in so that below the um, surface of the soil of the compost. Um, don't overwater them. You need drainage holes in the bottom though, but they need to be kept like damp, but not so sopping wet. Um, within a month, you should have a little lemon plant growing um yeah you don't need to do a lot with them because they're easy to look after um they don't need like i said they don't need over water and so you don't have to if you forget about it for a few days a few couple of weeks or whatever you think oh, i haven't watered it it'll still be there it'll be fine because they're used to a really dry climate so um but yeah so you will discover that you do have green fingers you can do this um, and um, it costs absolutely nothing to do it except a bit of seedling compost. Just use your old yoghurt pots to pot them on into. I will just say though, don't attempt to move them into anything bigger until the root, you can see the roots coming like through the, trying to get through the drainage holes at the bottom of your pot that you've made the drainage holes in the bottom of the yoghurt pot. They, they need to be pot bound really before you attempt to move them on to a, to a bigger pot. And then you need to just try and pull out the roots a little bit as it's going into a new pot so it helps them spread out in, in, in the new pot. So that, that's basically it. You, 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 you can do it. You're a gardener. So yeah. So anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there for today and um, probably won't vlog until next week now because I'm now at work from tomorrow until next Friday that's why i've tried to get two vlogs out but um thank you so much uh, for joining me and uh, take care guys so i uh, hopefully you'll tune in next time so adios bye bye chin chin